Are you a Christmas fan? Yeah, I am. You like you like Christmas, right? I like Christmas because it does bring out like the better people. Mm-hmm. But I don't like the stress where it comes to shopping because last night I literally went shopping. I asked my boyfriend, "What do you want?" and like he tried to get me stuff and all the stuff that I wanted was already sold out and I was like don't worry about me and I'm over here at Amazon like searching what to buy him are you like one of those people that's competitive with gift giving like you have to give the better gift no I'm it depends like um it depends like if I know they need it I tend to buy gifts if I know it's like useful and essential for your life yeah so for example for you I would get you like maybe a laptop screen like you know the black screen so oh. it doesn't affect your eyesight oh <laughs> awesome yeah that's all that's very that thoughtful. thoughtful yeah that see, is very thoughtful like yeah. i thought I, she was gonna see like a screen obscure so nobody can see yeah. what you're nobody <laughs> can see what you're looking nobody at i'm like what do you Brett. think i'm doing <laughs> on here <laughs> no no but i tend to buy things that are essential like i bought um i bought him like maybe 11 pairs of headbands Mm. why because, because like his this, hair is really long right yeah his yeah. hair is mm. really long and he doesn't like wearing hair ties for a long period of time so i'm like okay let's buy you a headband mm-hmm. and i bought him like the little cute cat ear ones i'm sure he's wow. gonna love wearing those yeah, would, he chose them those. he, he chose them good, good for him christmas big thing in your house uh, you've got kids yeah. so yeah, yeah yeah so i was raised doing hanukkah and christmas okay so i'm oh, like yeah. extra spoiled Mm-hmm. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do yeah. both. Yeah. We had like a. Wait, are Christmas you making tree. your kids do both? Because I want to do that for my making family. Making them do both? Yes, they are forced to <laughs> celebrate both. Presents for all no, of you. Hanukkah's dope because it's for pyromaniacs. Okay. We get to light a fire <laughs> every day for eight days, and uh, and I love Christmas. Oh yeah, I, true. Because like um, my boyfriend's Jewish, also. That's why I was getting him gifts because like. Headbands, a head headbands for Hanukkah. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Um, um yes, yeah, so we do. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love both. I love the, I love the holiday season. I love peppermint flavor. Yeah. Um, do, do your kids? Spice. What do your kids know about Santa Claus? <clears throat> not they, real. Not they not real, but don't spoil it for others. Okay. Well, yeah. well, our five year old, okay. our one year old doesn't. Well, well I like the symbolism of Santa. They made it because like um, it was like an easier um, example to describe what Jesus did for people. Mm. So like that's mm. the reason why they made Santa Claus because like Jesus basically died for all our sins and he didn't and so want. So did Santa. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm a Jew. You got to talk slowly. I know what you mean. (laughs) Let me explain. So, um, but he doesn't want anything in return. You don't have to give him anything back. Same thing with Santa. He'll give you anything. I never heard that. Yeah. So it's like a best way to describe what Jesus did for us. So they took a naked man (laughs) from a cross and gave him a furry coat and a gut (laughs) and shoved him down your chimney. And that's how you learn Jesus. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> what? Well, I am here to ruin it for all of you. So if you don't want to know this fact, <laughs> well, you two laugh. We're going to make sure that the audience knows. Spoiler alert. Hey, I grew up Buddhist and celebrating Christmas. Buddhist and Christmas? Oh. Yeah. See, there's a closer image in my mind to Buddha and Santa than <laughs> Jesus and Santa. Well, you're thinking about a different... Well, like everybody that thinks like the fat guy is Buddha, it's actually like one of the angels, one of the seven angels. Yeah, no one talks about starving Buddha. You know about Starving Buddha? Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. He well, died. beautiful. Oh, we used to have statues of him. Yeah, I, I love Starving the Buddha. It's starving very interesting. Buddha is actually like more peaceful. Yeah. And it like teaches you a better like lesson about greed. Mm. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Santa Claus is not real. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it is true. Santa Claus is not real. So you're saying Jesus is not real? I make no <laughs> wow. assumptions about that. This channel just got banned. But what I've found now, Chris found me an article here, and this is just depressing. Santa shortage looms as holiday draws near. So we are in a literal Santa shortage right now. And I thought this was relevant because tomorrow's the 1st of December. So he should be getting ready <coughs> for Christmas. This is just confirmation for me that Santa is an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> And that's why he's not getting This channel is definitely get getting banned now. I'm Thanks. sorry. Am I allowed to say that? You're allowed to say um, that. Well, he does live in the North Pole, so do you think the the vid doesn't survive up there? Yeah. It's possible. It can't travel in that cold, cold air. So this is uh, <laughs> this is from News Station Now. It says, he knows if you've been bad or good, but Santa Claus is going to need some help before the chimney, cra- uh, chimney dash on Christmas morning. It seems that 2021 is going to be especially <laughs> tough on the man in, the re- in red because the demand for pre-Christmas visits is sky high and there just aren't as many people willing to put on the white beard and play the part of Santa. The workforce of happy elves who dress and become Santa for kids to sit on his lap or tell them... <laughs> 
<laughs> what toys they want is down 15% while they need uh while while the need is up 120% from pre-pandemic levels according to hiresanta.com. <laughs> so so the moral of the story is unemployment was a really all those unemployment benefits was a horrible idea. Wow. What, yeah. If the government hadn't subsidized all this unemployment we wouldn't be going through this right now, and we wouldn't be looking towards an, a giftless Christmas. Well, Biden, thought, Biden killed Santa. Well, th- hey, Sorry, Trump is not blameless in this. All this started under him. You're right. It, it, we're, we're, together. We, we're holding both sides accountable You're here. Totally All those right. unemployment benefits started with him, and so each state is responsible. Yep. Mm-hmm. If, if California is going to extend your benefits forever, and they can't get Santa, that's not our fault. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. just uh, like, I thought like people weren't teaching like Santa Claus anymore. Like I thought like the new day and age like everybody's like oh no santa is not a real thing we're not gonna teach our kids santa because like it's a fat white man well they're they're doing diverse santa now that's fine i that doesn't that doesn't bother me oh my me. god is it the yeah. same thing like black jesus yes, yes. oh yes. my god my friend great. does black jesus and black santa <laughs> does he yeah awesome i love black santa that's awesome yeah that's, yeah that's good i i'm kind of sad for the kids i mean she just doesn't want to work. Can you so, can you do social distance? Like you can't social distance. No, well, with Santa. Maybe he drops the gifts. Down was the, the Easter Bunny around last? Uh, I no. Chris, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. He wasn't paying I attention. Wasn't Easter Bunny's no. in a mask, mm-hmm. basically. Okay, but they yeah. didn't the beard do catches the um, wash the White House uh, Easter egg hunt. They didn't do yeah. that last year because of the pandemic. Of course they did. They do it every year. Yeah. Like they invite like um, any military family like. Um, Basically, to come to the White House and do Easter eggs mm. hunting, but they didn't do it last year. Dang. There's the the war on Christmas and the war on holidays in general, I guess. Yeah. That's, that's a bummer. Can we make our own holiday? What do you want to call it? The Tim Castellan. What? <laughs> Say that again. How do you spell that? <laughs> what? The Tim Castellan. What? <laughs> yes. Um, this also sounds like the premise to like a Tim, a, the new Tim Allen movie where he becomes Santa Claus. Yes. The world. <laughs> Has been void of Santa. Yes. One man. Dark and gritty. I love it how dark and gritty like, Santa. Over my idea. Yeah. Because nobody could figure that. out how to spell it or pronounce ignore it. Ignore so that. We just, <laughs> we just went right over they it. They went over it. But yeah. The movie's called Castlandian or whatever the heck you said. <laughs> Tim Castiland. Tim Castiland. Tim Castiland. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is where people think, like, I need more sleep. <laughs> you, Slowly. We, we could all use a little bit more sleep. I didn't go to sleep until five in the morning. Well, maybe you should get more sleep then. Uh, nah. I just yeah. seen more energy drinks. That's not how this works. <laughs>